Hello guys and welcome to this new little tutorial or it's not like a tutorial it's like a little yeah, thinking process like a design process or a new approach for design because recently or yesterday we've got the Houdini 18.5 updates with yeah some new tools, some simpler method, uh, methods to approach new things and I really uh, yeah, don't want to go too deep into explaining new tools because there are already really superb uh, videos or tutorials from SideFX that will explain different tools but I just want to give you some ideas how you can use these yeah, new tools and for example I've created this, lib uh, this really simple animation here with the new cloth brush because I think it was pretty hard to get like a static shape when you don't want pre-simulation but I think now with the cloth brush it's really cool to use it and to get shapes like these and then animate it. I will show you the uh, tree in a second. But first of all another really cool node in my opinion is uh, the chain sop. So you can do really can do a lot of stuff w with it. Uh, sure, you can build it your own, uh, like the chain tool, you can build it your own, or the scatter and the line, or attribute from pieces. But I really like how uh, Houdini involves uh, in this kind of direction to give uh, newer artists, yeah, like a better understanding of tools and to get assess with uh, not deep dive into different node setups and so on especially the new path deform is pretty cool too and of course there are some other improvements especially for VFX with the simple GPU solver let's just have a quick look on, on that one um, place on geometry and just type GPU and you will get the pyro configure GPU explosion and that's a full simulation uh, on your GPU so it will use your GPU to, to solve it and for example when you go down to the voxel size 0 0.05 and we need to I think disable the limit uh, resolution here and you can just play it and yeah it's basically real time of course when you uh, dial down the voxel size smaller uh, it, it will need to cache but I think it's uh, pretty cool for quick R&D stuff and this is uh, basically like a new little tool set with uh, a source then of course volume rasterization and the pyros level and for example there are some new volume uh, sources for the sub level pyro stuff uh, for example there is the volume trail source I think Oh, let me have a look. <laughs> or path source, pyro trail, maybe the pyro trail. Yeah, the pyro trail, for example, pretty cool uh, too. It's pretty slow, but yeah, it's not that slow. It just need to um, get built up for a second, and then you can can use it. But I think it's pretty cool. So you've got your, your trails here and then your animation. And it will just create uh, particles from 
yeah, from the trails here, animated particles, and you can play around with that, for example. You can decrease the number of trails, you can play around with the start angle, you can make a line, for example, uh, increase the trails, line length, let's decrease that a little bit, azimuth start angle, azimuth angle, let's raise it up, velocity scale, drag, let's do some set up like this here and then you can just input that in your trail source but I think you need to activate uh, trail source output attributes you need to activate uh, something here temperature and I think burn should should work yeah and you can already see the new simulation and I really li uh, like this for yeah to quick R&D stuff stuff like that and I think it's good uh, that they yeah simplify the tools a little bit to get new artists or new designers started get started with uh, Houdini and yeah, there are a lot of new tools, just check out the Scifix website, and I think it was that one, yeah. And I just want to show you a little bit the new Vellum brush node, I think it's pretty powerful. So, we'll place down a grid here, and I want to remesh the grid to get triangles, triangulation geometry, uh, iterations, let's pipe up the smoothing a little bit and decrease our target size. And after that we will place down a vellum configure cloth. Place that down, cool, and after that we can place down our vellum brush. Place it down, connect it, and you're good to go. That's pretty cool. You will press enter in your viewport and you've got your Velo brush. Uh, the default uh, mode is brush, freeze outside off, the simulation mode is stamped, set rest state and the live simulation is off. You can turn on of course the live simulation or turn it off. And now when you uh, click and drag with your brush you can see you will yeah, sculpt basically the cloth and I really like that and you can change it to drag maybe something like that okay I think there is a little bit of an error here let's reset Okay, that's weird, but I think that's pretty cool. And you can change the mode to drag, then contract or expand. When you press um, control on your keyboard, it will expand, and normal left click will be yeah a contract. And then rotate is pretty nice too. So you can get pretty. Uh, yeah, fast looks with the rotate and then crease and ruffle. So for example, you can ruffle the whole thing and when you place down a vellum post process here, uh, you will uh, you will get something like that. So I think that's really powerful too. And there's one more function I think. Uh, yeah, the disable collision and uh, the live simulation stuff, I think that's pretty powerful too. And the cool thing is, yeah, you can sculpt it and then you can do something like this. So, simple remeshed geometry here, 
then a vellum cloth, then the vellum brush, and I did that with uh, yeah a simple rotation. After that, I placed down a vellum solver. In the vellum solver, I placed down a simple uh, pop wind and a pop axis force. And after that, I uh, placed down a vellum post process to get a little bit more geometry detail and a thickness. And yeah, you will get something like this. So I think that's that's pretty simple and really a cool new way to generate uh, new stuff. And just try to think a little bit different. Um, you've got cloth tools, but it don't need to be cloth. It could be a landscape or something el else, an abstract shape, and so on. And I think uh, with the new Houdini update, uh, there are cool new tools and especially uh, Karma, when I hope uh, Karma GPU will revive, uh, arrive with uh, update 19, for example, that would be pretty nice. And just try the things out, give it a try with the new tools. Um, especially the Pyro stuff is cool, but I'm not uh, so deep into Pyro. I'm really into interested in the yeah, character FX and the vellum cloth stuff. Especially try out the fabric preset. You can uh, download it on the content uh, library with different um, specifications of different fabric type, types. So raincoat, silk, wool, leather, uh, velvet jeans. And I think that's pretty cool. You can dive in there and then check the other stuff out with the interactive brushes with soft bodies kine fx and yeah fams got uh, i think some updates and improvements too and yeah that's just my thoughts and i hope you like this little yeah, process thinking and I will see you in the next uh, tutorial or breakdown course. S stay safe and have a nice day.